Oh. She's another one of those dangerous women. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War Proxima Midnight. So here we are, and there she is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As always, right here in the background, a Avengers Infinity War Proxima Midnight. Uh, stay, stay, stay. And right here on the side of the box, we have Proxima Midnight. Proxima Midnight, a words and things and barcodes. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots. You have your cross cells, and you have a brief bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Proxima Midnight, one of the baddies of the movie. And let's get in close here so we can take a look. No, eyes up here. Eyes up here. There we go. So we can take a look at that head sculpt. The head sculpt is pretty good. Got some red there, some spots of red. Have a nice blue hair going on. Nicely detailed. Oh no, it's a pretty good looking head sculpt. In my opinion, lots of detail here in her suit. Looks very good, very nicely done. Got some nice gold here for the armored pieces. This looks quite, quite nice. And just going down the body again, lots of nice detail with the black and the white. Again, you got some more gold going down the right leg here. And going up the back. Again, lots of nice detail. Pretty good looking figure, in my opinion. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you do get some wiggly waggly. Uh, can't look up that far just due to her hair, um, but can look down a good bit since the neck is on that hinge. Uh, can do a full 360, the hair will move out of the way for that. Uh, this arm, the left arm, can only move up that far due to the shoulder piece and that far back. Outward movement is still pretty good. The, the right arm, obviously, since there is no hindrance whatsoever, can do a full 360, can go in and out. You do have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow, so you get a good range of movement there. Uh, the wrists have rotation as well as that inward and outward joint. The upper part of the torso is on a ball joint, so you get your wiggly waggly movement there. Legs can go forward that far, back that far, outward that far. You got thigh rotation, you have a double jointed knee, and the feet can move up, it can move down, and you also have ankle tiltage there. Now, as far as accessories go, she does include her staff right here, which is just done in a gold-ish plastic. As you can see, pretty nicely detailed. Uh, the staff itself is made of a soft plastic there, so you don't have to worry about breaking anything, which is nice. And you can just take this and put it right into her hand. It is actually pretty easy to get this into her hand, just whoop, right in there. There you go. She has her staff, so she can stabby stabby pokey pokey to her heart's content, to her evil heart's content. So that's pretty cool. So there you have that. Hey! Hey! You! You're a warrior. A warrior doesn't just faint like that. What's the matter with you, girl? Anyway, for comparison, let's bring in Iron Man, the Iron Spider. And the Captain of America. So you can see how she scales there with them. And as you can see, she is the tallest of the lot so far. So you got that going on. Now Proxima does also include a piece of Thanos. She comes with the main body here of Thanos. And just getting close here, you can see very nicely detailed. I like the paint. The paint work on it actually looks really nice in my opinion. Very nicely done. So we have the main body, we have a leg, we have his head. So hey, let's just start putting some stuff together here since we can. So we'll take his big old left leg here and just snap it on. Get in there. There we go. 
There we go. We've got the left leg on and make him pop on his head. Get on there. There you go. And there we go. We have a uh, we have a one-legged Thanos in a butt kicking contest, and he will probably still win. There you go. <laughs> That's what we have of Thanos so far. It's coming along. It's coming along nicely. I might just leave him like that just because it's funny, but anyway. So there you have Proxima Midnight. Um, a very well done figure, definitely one of my favorite figures of this wave. Looks really cool and just an overall nice, solid, fun figure. So there you go. So if you would like this or any other Marvel Legends toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Avengers Infinity War playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War Proxima Midnight, and this is m saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Um, Proxima, Proxima, uh, I, I have a bit of a favor to ask of you. I need you to find the rest of my body. Don't let this smell on my face fool you, I'm really quite annoyed right now. Please hurry, I, you, you have no idea how hard it is to get around on one leg. It's not, not enjoyable at all. If I had fingers, I would so snap them right now.